hey hey what's going on everybody this is pastor shay aka chaplain g coming back at y'all with another word of encouragement for today so <laughs> check this out i want to i want to read this verse over you um just because I, I think there's a there's a way that we can walk through this life and just get caught off guard by the people we let into our lives and so um in a in a real way sometimes we're very trusting of other people and and that's not to say that um that's a bad thing i, I think god would want us to have a loving and trusting heart right i'm not trying to say that at all but sometimes we don't have the spiritual awareness to understand when someone is operating in a way that's not in our best interest and and we get caught off guard and uh, sometimes we get sucked into their their sphere and not understanding that these folks are causing division they are um, they're just they're not operating in a way that's very christ-like and uh it's it's very easy to see it's actually it's very easy for us to fall into it ourselves and so even as we're on the lookout for it from other people we have to be on the lookout for ourselves so that we're not causing division so that we're not creating obstacles and all this other kind of stuff but i want to read this to you this is from the book of romans so this is paul writing this is at the it's at the end of his letter he's written this big massive uh theological tryst on trist trist Anyway, he's writing this big theological paper on um, on the nature of God and of sin and of Israel and all this stuff, right? The book of Romans. And he comes to the end of his letter and he writes this, Romans chapter 16, starting at verse 17. It says, I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. For such persons do not serve our Lord Christ, but their own appetites. And by smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. For your obedience is known to all, so that I rejoice over you. But I want you to be wise as to what is good and innocent as to what is evil. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under his feet, under your feet, excuse me. The Lord, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. My goodness, there's a lot to unpack there. And I wish uh, <laughs> there's definitely uh, more to unpack than I have time to do in this video. But check out what he said there. Like, there's people that'll be in your zone, in your sphere, if you will, that just have this smooth talk and flattery. But what they're really doing is trying to appease their own appetite. They're not serving God. They're not, they're not moving in a way that's beneficial to all. They're, trying, they're only trying to serve themselves. And, and Paul relates that to evil. He says, soon, because I know those people are out there and they're operating that way, that God is going to crush those people under your feet one day. And... Um, man haven't been the recipient of some people in my life lately that have moved and operated this way to hear that god is is aware of it that he's paying attention to it that it's within his redemptive plan to crush that type of evil under his feet number one gives me hope that that guys god is nearby the brokenhearted because the situations i'm in have actually like they've hurt me a bit you know what i mean but two, it gives me pause to make sure as I'm dealing with people, as I'm interacting with folks, then I'm not being that type of person that's causing division, that, that is just uh, using smooth talk and flattery to try to appease my own appetite. Heaven forbid, man. I just don't want to be that kind of person. So that's my dual encouragement for you for today. Simultaneously walk in a way where you're encouraged um, that God is is looking out for your best interest, but also be encouraged to watch out for yourself to where you're not one of the people that God is gonna crush under his feet. And so hopefully that's a word of encouragement for you. Uh, let me know whether it was or wasn't. My email is gonna be down in the description box, man. 
Uh, this was this was a um, what would be called a doxology for Paul. It's a prayer of blessing as he wraps up his letter. And that's my prayer of blessing for you, man. My appeal to you is to watch out for folks and know that the, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ is going to be with you as you try to sort through and, uh, and be cognizant and aware that those kind of people are moving around you. So, love y'all. Hope y'all doing good. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. All that kind of stuff helps the channel. Until next time, man, grace and peace.